After the Ace family publicly announced their divorce, Catherine McBroom has come forward and exposed more about their marriage. And also, Catherine's ex-sister-in-law, Shyla, has spoken out against her. So with that said, let's unpack this together. All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to a new day on the Curtis Price channel and a new day for you to slay it. Now, in our last video, we discussed their divorce announcements. Catherine and Austin both released threads regarding their marriage. And I kind of discussed a little bit into detail why I thought Catherine was the one that wanted the divorce and not Austin. I mean, in their statements, they both claim that this is what they both wanted. But honestly, I truly believe Catherine was the one that wanted this. I mean, after all, I do feel like Austin was the one putting a lot of strain on their marriage. I mean, the guy had a lot of lawsuits. I mean, the guy was being sued by the media company he partnered with for his social gloves event. Not to mention also, he ran a charity event at a basketball game and somehow did not donate the money. Well, what happened to it then? It just vanished into thin air, into McBroom's pocket. <laughs> and you could really see that he was on his way to financial ruin. I mean, you have to be desperate when you start off making wholesome, family-friendly content and then somehow end up on the other side of the table messaging only fan stars on Instagram offering to manage them. And these are the statements they released on Instagram. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. And fans were outraged by this. One silly fan wrote this. I don't believe in love anymore. Damn it, a couple of influencers are having a divorce. This is the end of the concept of love as we know it. I mean, I would have blocked you straight away. That's tragic. Anyway, I spoke about all this in the last video, ladies and gentlemen, but this video, Catherine actually came out on Instagram and uploaded a few stories of her discussing more detail into their divorce. And a lot of you actually pointed that out in the last video, how I bashed Austin and didn't really say much about Catherine. Well, guess what, everyone? In this video, I'm coming for Catherine. With that said, I just want to thank all you guys for the support in the recent videos. You guys have been killing it recently in the comments section. I've seen all your wonderful comments, all right? And I try my best to respond, but we're on the daily grind. You guys have to understand, all right? Anyway, if you're new, meet Jerry. Jerry, all right? We hate Jerry on this channel, okay? He was my best friend, my lover, in fact. I'm gonna expose him, all right? He called me a loser for not having 80,000 subscribers. So we need to prove him wrong, guys, all right? You guys are always siding with Jerry, and it's making me really sad. Please subscribe to the channel, guys, because... J Jerry's coming after me. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's react to Catherine's video she posted on Instagram and we'll give our thoughts along the way. Actually, just quickly, it is our 10th video in a row. Guys, I haven't uploaded 10 videos in one month since 2017, all right? So it calls us for a victory dance. All right, that's the end of it, though. Let's check it out. I'm just trying to live my life, genuinely. Like, I just want to go back to just being myself, actually like truly being myself in my most rawest form because I feel like I hold a lot of things in and I, I, own, I own this, I own up to this. Lied to myself for a very long time and I was not happy and my main priority was always, always, always my kids and my family. Moving forward now, um, things have changed because I realized that in order for my kids to truly be happy, I have to be truly happy, like truly, truly, truly happy inside. And yeah, I feel like I was lying to myself for a long time, telling myself that I was happy because one thing about me and Austin is we never fought. We never argued, no, no, nothing, like nothing. Like we were and still are the bestest friends. And so for me, I thought like, oh, there's nothing wrong. Like there's nothing wrong here. But um, I had been lying to myself. All right, so just by listening to that clip, ladies and gentlemen, it pretty much confirms that Catherine was the one that wanted this divorce. I mean, she goes on about how she was lying to herself, about how she was happy when she really was, and she didn't know who she was anymore. She kind of lost herself along the way. Second of all, she says that her and Austin never argued, and that made her think that there's actually nothing wrong in the marriage, that she just feels like something's not right. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna sound ass backwards, but if you do not argue in a relationship, that is a red flag. It's kind of like a seesaw. You don't wanna argue every single day but you also don't want to not argue ever. Look, guys, I agree. Arguing sucks, okay? Nobody likes arguing. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't argue with your partner, there's no passion there. If you argue with somebody, you have raw passion. You argue with people you love the most. Don't get me wrong. If you're shouting and screaming at each other at least twice a week, I mean, that's not a good sign, obviously. But if you have little arguments here and there, you know, where nobody's really heartbroken at the end of it, that's quite healthy and normal. Second of all, it claims that she's been lying to herself for a long time about how happy she is, but it seems to me like she never actually communicated that with herself or Austin. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, I can call bullshit because they claim that they never argued, but... I found a few clips which tell me something pretty different. When it comes to marriage, you probably will think about getting a divorce 
for being alone multiple times. Every day. Multiple times. Oh, the day. Yeah, I literally think about leaving this person. I don't know if I can make it in seven time. years. Yet. Um, so, okay, you go, please. What's going on go. with them? I don't like shit like go. That. I'm so sick of him. The next video <laughs> is gonna be he moved out by himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, that is just, that is wild, right? For someone you claim to never argue with, you sure do sound very, very sick of him. You guys gotta be honest with me and Austin. We never argued. But I'm so sick of him, alright? I think about divorcing him multiple times a day. <laughs> What's going on? It's one or the other, my friend. It can't be both. She also claims that when it comes to marriage, you will think about getting a divorce multiple times. And then Austin in the background screams multiple times a day. I just thought you guys were like the perfect kind of like love duo. I mean, you guys were meant to be the name of love. You guys, you guys were the gatekeepers of love. <laughs> What's going on? And you can see these fans clearly looked up to them like they were Romeo and Juliet, just like the comment I read out earlier. The best couple on the internet broke up. I don't believe in love anymore. But then they're talking about having feelings of getting a divorce multiple times a day. Definitely one of the greatest relationships ever. I mean, to be fair, ladies and gentlemen, maybe they never did argue. And if that's the case, then what it perhaps maybe sounds like is that she never communicated things that were wrong. She never spoke about to him and, and challenged his behavior and challenged things wrong in their relationship. It kind of just sounds like as if she just stood by him no matter what. And a lot of the things that bothered her, she just kind of let it build up inside her and that's why she gets sick of him so easily. I am truly, truly, truly happy. Like, I have never been this happy in my life. All right, sounds a bit over-exaggerated, doesn't it? <laughs> I've never been this happy in my life. What, after your family falling apart and you separate him from your husband? <laughs> I have never been this happy in my life. And it's not because of the change, but it's because of where I feel within myself and where I've, I have been for a while now. I've, I've been feeling like this for months. Look, look, jokes aside, guys, right? I'm rooting for them. I want them both to do well, okay? I, I, like I said, I don't dislike anybody. I just have some jokes here and there. You guys know me, do you know what I mean? But I just want to say, like, um, you know, if you definitely feel better after the separation, then chances are you probably did the right thing. Now it's time for you both to look within yourselves, grow as people, be better people, try and be, you know, have more of a positive mindset, and try and do good things in the world. Not fucking do a charity event and pocket all the money. Place now, I have no fears of nothing or anyone. I still don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm very new to this new dynamic that we're gonna be unfolding and going into just because i am happy doesn't mean that i'm not sad at the same time um there's a lot of sadness i don't think it's really like hit me yet because austin hasn't moved to his new place yet there's sadness yes it's like a morning a death or something like it's like morning like I, I can truly say that this would be like the first time that I have to mourn something that has like died in my life, like ended in my life, um, figuratively speaking, of course. And I don't want anyone to think that just because I'm happy doesn't mean that I also don't have sadness for the changes and for my children and for the new dynamic. Well, I fucking hope so. You lot have been together for a long time now. You had a fucking family together. I hope that you're fucking mourning it. So she just confirmed right there that it turns out that actually she will be keeping the house and Austin will be moving out into a new place, I imagine. But not to mention, ladies and gentlemen, she also answered a couple of questions on Snapchat and we're going to take a look at that in a second. As of right now, we haven't heard anything from Austin. I'm pretty sure Austin is probably dealing with this the worst. Obviously, he's probably the one that did not want to get a divorce. So he's probably just sat in the bathroom being really upset about everything but uh let's read this question also what kinds of certain things that didn't feel right pressure of the world and everyone looking to destroy us not having good communication growing at different rates etc well 100 percent agree terrible communication i mean you just said now that you've been lying to yourself for a long time so clearly you don't know how to communicate with yourself either one thing that doesn't serve you very well in life is wishful thinking it's kind of like that meme with that guy sitting in the chair with all fire around him so oh yeah the whole thing is falling apart but you know what Everything's fine. Everything's all good, you know. I'm happy. You know, you're just wishing you were happy. You aren't actually. 
And that's when you should have, you know, addressed the problem. And everyone looking to destroy us. Yeah, no one was looking to destroy you. People were just calling you both out on your bullshit mistakes. But sorry, that's the deal you sign. That's the price you pay when you come on the internet. If you want to show your family on the internet, I mean, you're going to have people call you out. That's just what happens. You signed that deal the day you started uploading on your YouTube channel. So the world wants to destroy good things. It's jealousy is why it happens. I learned that early on. A lot of evil eye. But we handled that very well until we really had to face a lot of darkness to make us grow. That was hard. I mean, yeah, that's true. You have to face a lot of darkness in order to grow. If you sit down in the corner crying in the darkness, you'll never grow. But if you stand up and face the darkness, sooner or later, you'll see the light. But in terms of jealousy, I mean, if people are jealous of Catherine and Austin McBroom, then... Fair enough, if that's how you live your life. And as I mentioned earlier on, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Shyla actually responded to the drama of the Ace family getting a divorce. A few years ago, Shyla and Landon, Austin McBroom's brother, split up. Basically, it was very sad at the time and everything, and they obviously have a kid together. And Catherine came out and kind of, like, you know, called out Shyla for, like, you know, lying about the Ace family. She really gave her a hard time about it when they were going through the divorce. And now it's happening to Catherine. Well, Shyla has something to say about it. Now, people are saying, you guys should blink up and... Yeah. This woman has been a Regina George mean girl to me since I was 18 years old. And I look back and I'm like, why did I, why did I tolerate that? And then hides behind the guise of like spirituality and like holier than thou. And it has to do with having like a personality disorder, if I had to guess, like a sociopath. And then when you do psych, I think it makes you develop like a godlike complex. And then you're just really lost in the sauce. And then when no one around you holds you accountable for anything, you guys are just like, everybody's lost in this. Everybody's living in the same delusion. I'm, I can get on here and say what I want to say because they got on the internet as a whole unit and bullied me and lied like years. You know, generally it is sad when a family is like breaking up. It's sad it's gonna be a change for the kids. I think they should stay together. I think they're the same person and they deserve each other. They are like a perfect match in my book. And I was also 23, I think, when I went through like basically a divorce. And it was really hard for me, especially publicly. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Shyla claims, you know, that Catherine was very mean to her and everything like that, kind of mean girl energy. And Shyla even showed, like, that she kind of, like, feels sorry for what's going on. Like, it's, like, she showed, like, emotion about it. And it's kind of big of her to show that since the way Catherine treated her when she was going through the exact same thing. So it really does show the difference in character, yeah. I mean, Shyla seems a lot more mature than Catherine, for sure. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen, Shyla also called this out from the beginning. So we guess we could say that Shyla was right all along. <laughs> and, you know, if you guys at home are going through a hard time, just remember, yeah, it's a hard day, not a hard life. It could be a hard week, but again, it's not a hard life. If you think in your head all the time, our oh, life is really hard, life's going to be hard, trust me. It's all about a state of mind. It's about perspective. Everything is perspective, ladies and gentlemen. I preach it enough in these videos. Today might be a shit day, but tomorrow you have the opportunity to make it the best day. So just remember, be patient with yourself, guys. Don't be so hard on yourself all the time. Everything's gonna be fine. Take good care of yourself up here. Yeah? And just understand that you have the opportunity to make a day whatever you want it to be. And it all starts with how you wake up in the morning. So with that said, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video, baby. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.